Hi, this is Tammy Goy, Pages, Pumps, and Pie, and I'm here with a Plan With Me video and my fitness budget planner for the week of April the 8th through the 14th. Yes, it's been a minute since you've seen me planning here. I had a lot going on. At first, it was spring break. Then I just had a week where I was just like needed a break. And then I had a loss in the family. Then I was just really busy, and it's just been a lot. Um, but I'm back and this video is actually part of the YouTube collab group, which was formed by Elisa Marie over at Creatively Lisa Marie on social media. Um, thank you, Lisa, for the collab group. So the way the collab group works is I will um, do my video and we have a theme. This theme is mushrooms. So if you are coming from the previous channel that would have been Gail's channel and um, after meeting with Gail you would come here and then when you're done here you will go to the next channel and I'll have all the information posted for you um, on the screen and in the description and so the link for the next video will be in the description below make sure you go and check out everyone you'll circle through the loop once you've gotten back here then you know you've gone through all of the videos it would be greatly appreciated if you go and you like and you share and you comment and even subscribe to all of these wonderful planners who are coming together to bring you this awesome content one thing I could tell you that it's going to be very enjoyable you're going to see different types of planners used, different types of forms of planning, different levels of creativity, and it's just so amazing how everyone can bring their own vibe and their own touch to the theme. I really, really enjoy that. So make sure that you give everybody a view. So like I said, this theme for this week is mushrooms. I'm not a great artist, but I decided to take a stab at doing some doodling and yeah. I wanted to keep it all spring themed. I know when we think of mushrooms, a lot of times we think browns and red and earthy. And, but I wanted to keep it all intact with the theme of spring. So let me get in here. Yeah, I didn't even fill out the last time that I worked in here because it's been a lot. So I'm going to use my Ohuhu Fine Line drawing pen in the 0 0.5 and I don't know if I'm going to fast forward I might just chat with you guys so as I stated I've had a lot going on um, my godson had spring break same time as my brother so we we're trying to do some things that week and then the next week, it because spring break was a heavy, crazy week. And then so the next week, I was just mentally and emotionally exhausted. And I, I just needed a break. And then I was just very, very busy after that. And then we had a loss of the family. And that just kind of kept me incapacitated for another week. But... I'm back. <laughs> I'm very busy this week um, and very busy next week because next week is go wild and I still have so much to do to get ready for that. You know, you think you have all this time, you know, just like it comes on you so quickly now I just realized that I just did those lines in this black fine liner when my intent was to use markers so what I'll do is just do kind of what I did last time and go over everything with the marker so I'm gonna go ahead and trace over these numbers and then I'll let them dry and then come back with the marker because I don't want it to smear because I didn't follow my original plan I could have just said oh well I'll put the marker first but that wasn't the original plan anyways 
<laughs> so what do we do? We improvise. Yes. We improvise. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes plans change. That's kind of hard for me because I'm a planner. Like my bestie just likes to kind of spontaneously do things. And you know, that's all good. But I'd rather have things planned out. Just gives you a little bit more peace of mind, I think. <laughs> when things are already planned. Like I said, plans can change. But yeah. So I'm going to go now because I lettered April here and I'm going to take my Tumble Funosuke pen and go over this with this pen. Not the greatest at hand lettering. And I'm not practicing like I should. Oh, so I need to get back to that. Practicing. All right. Then we'll go back with the fine liner now. So yeah, I had to look at some some tutorials on how to doodle mushrooms. I still think mine are not like the greatest, but if you compare the first doodle that I did to this, you would be like, oh yeah, you improved. <laughs> My godson was just very blunt. Yeah, Mika, that that first one sucks. <laughs> That's what he said. That sucks, Mika. I'm like, well, tell me how you really feel. Why don't you? It's so funny. Um, but I think I did a pretty good job. I think. I know that with more practice I'll get better and I want to do a video for next week I do but I'm not gonna even promise that right now because I'll be gone and I'm gonna have to already prep some videos in advance I'm not leaving until um, Thursday. I know some people are leaving out earlier than that, but I'm not leaving out until Thursday. And um, so it does give me a little bit of time to get some things done. So I'm going to let this page dry as I come over here. I have chosen a sticker to add on here and it says you are magic. Put that right there and burnish it down. Okay. And then we can work on this one. I'm not going to do a bunch of doodling like on the next couple of pages. I did a little bit. And I'm doing a Dutch door, which I have not done in a minute. But when I have to do a bunch of doodling, and that's not my thing, I've learned that it's a little helpful to just do... Um, Oh, 
what am I trying to say? Um, Dutch doors. <laughs> or do like one big image, you know? I, I commend a lot of the people in the bullet journal community because they can go and do these elaborate um, spreads and they're doing all this artwork and doodling and I'm just like oh no there's no way I could do that much And here I decided to do two little mushrooms. And here's my thing. I could probably end up being a very great artist. And let me tell you the reason that it probably won't happen for me <laughs> is my patience. I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have it okay people I don't have it <laughs> so I can't say that something like that is gonna work out for me but yeah so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna erase my pencil marks if you hear noise in the background, that is my ceiling fan. I just, this room is one of the rooms in the house that gets very hot. And I'm not even really a hot person. I'm usually very cold, but I can get easily hot in this room. And normally I have been filming without that fan because I didn't want y'all to deal with the noise. But y'all, as we are getting into the hotter months in Texas, I'm not going to be able to do that for y'all. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that for y'all. I'm going to need to have my ceiling fan. <laughs> Alright, so I've picked out some Tombos to use. And I'm going to go ahead and color everything in. Like I said, I wanted to keep everything with spring colors. So I have these very nice, vibrant spring colors for my mushrooms. Oh, I didn't pick anything for the grass. Let me see, let me find a green that works. That one's pretty bright, I don't know about that, but we'll check and see if that one is gonna work for us. There's that green. So let's see. Let's see that one. I think I'm gonna go with that one. All right. So let's just. Oh yeah, that one works pretty good. I am in frame, right? Yeah. Y'all can see me. Y'all can see me. So, in terms of mushrooms, we know that there are so many varieties, right? Some are edible, some are not. And I used to never eat mushrooms until at one point I decided to go vegetarian. And then I start trying mushrooms and I didn't mind them. They, in my opinion, they don't have a whole lot of flavor. It's kind of like tofu. You have to add the flavor. That's how I see it a lot of times. Although some of them are meatier than others, like the portobellas and... Um, the lion's mane, which I haven't really tried those. The oyster mushrooms, they can be very meaty as well. Um, more meaty than just your button mushrooms. So I have done um, mushroom fajitas, 
with portabellas. I've done mushroom steaks with portabellas. Um, what else? I I don't eat pork anymore, and I used to love eating pork sausage and egg tacos. And so one day, some years ago, I was like, hmm, let me see if I could take some mushrooms and make this happen. So I took some button mushrooms. I've tried it with the buttons and I've tried it with the portabellas. I think I like it better with the buttons, actually. Um, but either one works. So I've taken them and I've diced them up into little small pieces, saute them in a pan with some olive oil. And then what I do from there is add some Italian seasoning. And when I tell you it tastes like I'm eating a pork sausage and egg taco, that, that's how it, that's how it tastes. And I was floored when I did it the first time and I was like, well, this is great. So I've tried it on more than one occasion. Like I said, I've tried it with the much, uh, the button and the portobellas, but I think I like it with the button mushrooms a little bit more. I'm gonna take a gel pen and I'm gonna put some highlights. Some highlights on the mushroom. That's not showing up yet right now. I think I'll try it again once that color dries. Okay, so now let's go over here on this side. Let's do this one in yellow. But yeah, some people don't like mushrooms. And I like to order a mushroom pizzas only if I know that the restaurant uses fresh mushrooms. There are some restaurants that use canned mushrooms, like Little Caesars. I used to work for them when I was in high school, so I know they use canned mushrooms. Um, not a fan. Go away, Nat. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't know if I killed him or not. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of plants, and we've got to figure out how to keep the gnats from coming from the plants. <sighs> yeah, but anyways. What was I saying? Yeah, I, I know for a fact that Little Caesars Pizza uses canned mushrooms. And I prefer a fresh mushroom on a pizza. So I know that Domino's uses fresh. If I go to Peter Piper's Pizza, I don't know if y'all have those everywhere. Peter Piper Pizza, they use fresh. And um, BJ's Brew House, they use fresh so I like ordering pizzas from their pizzas are just good period so but yeah I, I would not eat them at first I only started eating them when I had decided to go vegetarian and I went vegetarian for a long time you know I eat meat every now and then but I try not to <laughs> And I don't know how people eat meat every day. Like, you don't get tired of that? Ugh. I don't want it every day. It gets heavy. Um, yeah, to me, it just gets pretty heavy. But yeah, I've had um, chicken and waffles, like a vegan chicken and waffles made with the oyster mushrooms. There used to be this restaurant here called Time for Lunch, T-H-Y-M-E, like the herb, Time for Lunch, and they were like one of my favorite restaurants. And they had meat options and tons of vegan and vegetarian options too. And then they had these fun names for all of their um, uh, menu items too, which made it even better. And it, people would accuse them of giving them meat because those oyster mushrooms really have the texture of, of chicken. And so they had the best vegan chicken waffles. <laughs> like, the best. Um, yeah.
were like, yes, yeah, so we've been accused of giving people meat. And they said they had to show them, no, no, we really didn't give you meat. <laughs> but, you know, after COVID, it was hard for them to keep employees and stuff. So they they had to close down. It was so sad because we had finally found a place where the food was so good and we could all go there and enjoy it because my brother is vegan. And although my older brother and I are not vegan, we enjoy vegan meals every now and then or vegetarian meals every now and then. And so it was just so heartbreaking when they closed. Now, one thing that they love to do at that restaurant was use spice. Ooh, buddy, I used to have to tell them no spice on my stuff. But they were, and they were very personable restaurant owners and they would come out and talk with their customers and stuff it was nice but when I tell you that chicken and waffles and my godson loved the waffles I mean the pancakes the pancakes smell like cake <laughs> and he, that was the first place that we could take him where he would eat all the food and not waste it and then they closed on us. So sad. But yeah, they used a lot of the oyster mushrooms in place of... And they used jackfruit also. But that that chicken and waffles with the oyster mushrooms was everything. Do you hear me? Everything. What is that under my sticker? It's lint. Oy, 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 oy. Okay, where is my tweezers? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that from under there. It's hard when you get lint under a clear sticker. <laughs> okay, I think I got most of it off. All right. So, I'm gonna take and use this color and just do a couple of lines. more and then and Just put a little bit of like little sparklies around the page just to add a little more of something here. I think this is coming along pretty good here and I will come back and you know erase this I'm gonna take some washi I was looking for my other washi like this that's a little thinner and I can't find it I'm sure it's probably right in my face let me try one more time I can't find it. And 
and I'm sorry if I hit the camera. So I'm going to use that one here. This one is like a grid. It's a grid washi. I'm going to put this down. Oh, that works. Where are we at on time? Okay. I think we're all right. All right. And I'm not going to bother trying to putting over here. But let me put some more of these lines. There's lint on there. Okay. All right. I think that looks pretty good. Now, only other thing I want to do, let's do that. Ah, I think I like it, y'all. I, I like it. I like it. All right, so let's go over here. Um, I'm going to take my fine liner and go back over my titles here. I'm not going to put any mushrooms on this page. I did the Dutch door, as you can see here, and I'll probably just fill in these pages with some sparkles. And I just had a thought. That I could use some stickers and use my colors underneath those stickers because they're clear. Okay, so we have those headers outlined. So I'm gonna go over here and grab some boxes. Let's start over here. I'm going to do this box and we'll put our weight information here. And so I think what I've been doing, let me see what I've been doing. Because I don't remember. Start and mid month, yeah. So start mid month. So we're almost at mid-month already. I'm trying to remember what my starting weight was for this month. My mom says she feels like I've lost weight, but I don't, I personally don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> but she says I have. She says it's probably because I'm not stressed from work right now since I'm not working. But I, I don't see it. But... I'll believe her if that's what she says. <laughs> so got goals. Okay, and then steps. I'm gonna see if I had any double boxes left in the colors that I want to use. And of course I don't. So it looks like we're gonna be using the same size boxes for everything. Nail ideas. Um, then steps. Let's do nail ideas with this one. And then steps. Here. So what I was just thinking, what just came to my mind, since I said I didn't have any, what am I trying to say, any doodles here. And the black quotes, Amber Plants Her Day has these stars and stuff. So I'm thinking... Do that right and then let's take the stars like that and then we're going to do 
to the pink. like that and then over here we're gonna do the yellow and then we're gonna do the blue like that and this is a good way for me to use my stickers because I don't always use those little filler stickers that Amber puts in her books and this is a good way for me to do that I can't pull this one up hold on okay just burnish all these down Then I think I'll put a quote here and that will help fill in some space. So let's find a quote. Let's do this find a way. Why does this feel like it was pulled up and then put back down? Yeah, I must have pulled it up and put it back down at some point. And let's just put that right there and burnish that down. Oh my, I think that works out lovely. I like that I did that. All right, so now we're going to go into the first weekly. And again, I realized I didn't have the double boxes in those colors that I want. So let's see if I have them in the other colors still looks like I don't have them ah, I have one in yellow so I'm going to use this one for the weekend That's what I'm going to do so let's put this right there and And the pink, I don't think I have very many of those left. Yeah, I don't. So I have this one. All right, I might use some smaller boxes now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and put purple down first and then let's do a smaller one in the yellow we have a square box which works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this will be Thursday. Let's get Friday down. I'll do another purple. And then that'll be for Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so next we're going to date everything. I think I'm just going to do black 
and I'm going to pause and do that so you don't have to sit through that with me here. All right, and then I'll be right back. All right, yes, yeah, so I was just thinking while I was putting those down that I probably will not do this video next week because this is where I track what I eat and everything. And am I really going to be paying attention to that during Go Wild next week? Probably not. <laughs> so we've got one more mushroom to outline here. Yeah, I hope that there's a um, an obvious progression in my skill of drawing these when I come back and do it the next time. I think I was rushing just a little bit when I was drawing this time because I know there's so much that I'm trying to get done right now. Um, but yeah, I'll do better the next time. All right, so while that's drying, I'm gonna go back and erase these other pages. And get that taken care of all those markings now let's go back in with this again and see if this works better yeah I can do the highlight a little better now that that's had time to dry I still think I should try another one. I have these two, so let's see if this one will give me more juice. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be giving me a little bit more juice. I think this one is still kind of saturated here. And so it's not showing up too much on there. Sometimes you gotta get those pens started when they're new. Okay. All right, so that's done. Did I, did I erase the calendar? I think I did. I did over there already okay so now let's do here 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 if you're wondering where I got this little vacuum I got it off of Timu Temu Timu Temu however you pronounce it all right so here's my little Dutch door you know what I think I want to do with my little Dutch door? I think I want to put some color on it. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it in kind of like a rainbow fashion here. Let's 
make sure I get to the edge of the page. Okay, and then the pink. Alright, and then let's go do the same thing over here on the other side. I don't know where I stopped. just helps add some more color to the page that one stops there oh no I got my blue in there okay and then the purple goes to here and then the pink All right, now I can handle this mushroom over here. It is gonna be blue. I've done all the other colors for the mushrooms. Let me erase first. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of the eraser marks first before I color. And that way it'll be easier to get the eraser marks off. It's a little harder. A little harder to get them off when you've already gone within with the marker so let's go in now with this blue for some reason this blue is kind of dried out like I left it open or something which kind of sucks but it is what it is um, I have lots of tumble markers I don't know if I maybe have this color as a duplicate some of the colors I do have a duplicate of them because I've buy so many different collections of colors but I don't know if this is one that I have more than one of I know um, I think it's Michaels you can sometimes buy them based on the color but a lot of times those are like open stock items and people have been fooling around with them and they're usually dried out anyways so Tombow always has good sales on their markers and almost every time not all the time but almost every time they do a sale I will go and stock up on some more collections that I don't already have so yeah there's that okay so I'm just gonna do the brown and then the green and we're gonna be done I'll add some more of those little sparkle stars and stuff I noticed I didn't put the markings on the trunk or stem rather of this mushroom like I did with the others okay and then the green my grass is really awful I'm not gonna lie I'm going to be real honest about that. It's pretty. And green uh, grass is like a little fundamental thing you learn to draw in school. And I just did not do such a great job of that, did I? I'm going to take that washi again. And put it down. Where was the start of it? There it is. Okay. gonna be done with the washi okay so I'm gonna need a habit tracker I'm gonna do habit tracker in black because we've got all these colors going on so we'll just do a black one here I'm gonna find a quote to put here 
And then let's just do some of the sparkles. stick with the pink. We'll do some more here. Do that. Okay, and let's put a quote and we're gonna be done. this bloom where you are planting right we are talking about mushrooms so why not okay. that's down real nice and the only other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some yellow there and there oh my gosh I love it all right so let's do a final flip through we have our calendar which I said I was gonna put colors on it so let's do that oh I didn't did I do the eraser marking okay so I said I was gonna put color on here so let's do that I just really hate that this blue is not what it could be. It's kind of dried out. But it is what it is. Okay, and then one more with the yellow. Okay, so there it is, our final look at this. We have our calendar page with the mushroom. We have our cover page, it says you are magic, with a couple of mushrooms and some sparkles throughout. Then we go into our stat pages. So we've got weight, goals, meal ideas, steps. I took a chance at using some of those filler stickers to use some of those up. Put some of the colors along the edge of our Dutch door. Then we come over here to our first week here. So we've got some boxes for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and Sunday are sharing a box here. And I put a few more of those sparkles. I like to do things in threes. So I'm going to have to do some right here because it's going to bother me. I know me. All right. All right. I feel better now. <laughs> All right. So comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, it was a challenge. It's always a challenge for me to doodle because I'm not the best at it. But... I think I did a fairly good job for my first time drawing mushrooms like this. So comment below, let me know what you think. Also guys, another big shout out to Lisa Marie for creating the YouTube collab group. Make sure you head over to the next video. All the information will be in the description box below. And make sure you go through all of the loop. You like, share, subscribe, and comment. We will appreciate you so much that. Also guys, don't forget to slay, subscribe, like, and accept the alerts. You're going to miss any other videos from me and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.